And finally, on the news, exploring fine arts and handcraft as a career alternative and means of tackling mass unemployment in Nigeria has been encouraged. This came up during a print art exhibition by students of one of the colleges offering the Cambridge syllabus in the country. More on this report. On display inside this museum in Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa, are artworks of different kinds. Interestingly, all of them were created by young fine art students under the supervision of a known face in the world of art, Bruce Onobrakbeya. This is an innovation that Grange introduced about four years ago, and it was an opportunity for the children to work with outstanding artists. The program is called the Artists in Residence, and this is showcasing the outcome of their interaction with the artist. It's one thing for them to be involved in art classes and with art teachers and everything like that. It's quite another thing for them to have um, icons in the uh, art world. Their tutor on his part expressed his delight at working with the young scholars, stating that his time with them was worthwhile. The works you see there is a result of excitement, result of high interest. And what has come out of it is something that is great, very good for them at their age. And I used to say that uh, if I had this kind of contact when I was there, in their age and school, I probably would be several times bigger than what I am now. And as the students bask in the excitement of having their works on display to the admiration of parents and visiting art enthusiasts, the need to promote fine arts in the academic sphere as well as the career prospects was emphasized. I did this panda and I used the addictive method and the panda was based on what they eat. These are my works, but if I were to choose my favorite work, it would be this work. This work was based, it's just, it's based on nature, just flowers, butterflies, just pretty much nature. And basically, this one, it took me like two days to make it. Um, it looks like my mom kind of, so I kind of got the inspiration from my mom. And um, it was meant to, she was meant to have like flowing hair, but then when they finished printing it, it looked like a ghost, so I just named it Ghost of the Wind. Many of the young scholars hinted that the experience of the exhibition may have provided a new hobby as they now seek to have more printmaking projects on display in more museums across the country. Well, on that I has got to know that the world is evolving and moving. <laughs> <laughs> For more, visit our website, tvcnews.tv, and also join the conversation on our social media platforms using a TVC Connect. Many thanks for watching. I am Ndi Amonga. We'll be back with you top of the hour, then we'll have more updates.